But without faith it is impossible to praise him. For he that cometh to God he must believe that he is and that he is the rudder of them that diligently seek him. Join us on our YouTube channel in hope of eternal life ministry for daily devotions. The sure remedy. With Mugisha Brighton from 18th to 24th of June 2023. Don't miss. Hello friends, a humble greetings to you all. Thank you all for following us on this YouTube channel. This is day six on the series The Sure Remedy. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, may you speak to us. May you abide with us as we study from your word in Jesus' name. Amen. But without faith it is impossible to praise God. For he that comes to God must believe that he is and that is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. That is Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6. When I thought to know him, when I thought to know this, it was too painful for me until I went into the sanctuary of God then understood their end. Psalm 73, verse 16 and 17. When David was troubled and thought to know, he went into the sanctuary and understood. Psalms chapter 77, verse 13. Thy way, O God, is in the sanctuary. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. John 14, verse 6. The sanctuary must be revealing Christ his way since he is the way. The Hebrew sanctuary as designed by God that he may dwell with his people. When you read in Exodus 25 verse 8, God designed the Hebrew sanctuary that he may dwell with them. It was a symbol or a pattern of the things in heaven hebrews chapter 8 verse 5 i can read also in exodus 25 verse 8 the plan and the center of salvation is in heaven but god cannot lead his people blindly without showing them where they are going the sanctuary had a courtyard and for someone to behold the glory and the beauty of God had to look above the court. So for someone who by faith beholds the beauty of the heavenly sanctuary must also lift his thoughts above the things of this earth and center them on the heavenly things even as it was to look inside the court you would have to lift your head up to behold the beauty of god also even unto us to behold the beauty of the heavenly things we must lift our thoughts from the earthly things second Corinthians chapter 5 verse 7 for we walk by faith, not by sight. Hebrews 11 verse 9 and 10. Abraham looked for a city which has foundation, whose builder and maker is God. Abraham sojourned in the promised land, looking the, found the city whose builder and maker was God. And that is the heavenly city. The courtyard had one door of entrance. That is Jesus Christ. He is the only way. Salvation. John 10 verse 9. To go to heaven. To enter into the righteousness of God. You must enter through one person. Jesus Christ. As the only way. Truth and life john 14 verse 6 looking still looking 
in the sanctuary studying up about the sanctuary you see inside the courtyard right away from the door there was the altar of sacrifice this is a symbol of self-denial looking upon jesus on the cross you accept surrender all to him in exodus chapter 29 verse 37 the altar of sacrifice was holy and whatsoever touches the altar would be holy friends if you come to god you must touch the altar and burn all the pride of life the selfishness is left on the altar you must burn all your sins leave them on the altar leviticus 9 verse 24 fire came from heaven and burnt all the offering and fats which were laid upon the altar as a sin brought the offering they put it on the altar with its fats and then fire came from heaven and burnt that offering and the fats actually the fats is a symbol of sin and naturally fats contains poison that is why god does not allow us to eat fats he advises us not to eat fats that is in leviticus chapter 3 verse 17 when you accept to deny yourself and follow christ you wash away yourself from the river which was just beside the altar of sacrifice and this river is a symbol of baptism even unto us when you decide to follow christ to the holy place you have to wash away your sins through baptism where we find in the most holy in the holy place we find the seven branch candlestick which gave light continuously and jesus is the light of the world john 8 verse 12 i will not explain everything about the seven branch candlesticks it was a continual offering it was a continual right giving the priest would put oil continuously so that the right may not die away the table of shoe bread it was also a continual offering before the road it taught that man was wholly dependent on god for both temporal and spiritual food we must depend upon the thus says the Lord. if we don't take the word of god as our daily meal friends we cannot follow jesus in the holy place if we deny the faith he gives us through his word the altar of incense was also in the holy place ephesians 5 verse 2 and walk in love as christ also has loved us and has given himself for us as an offering and a sacrifice to god for a sweet smelling savor the prayers of the saints are mixed with the love of jesus and they appear as a sweet smell before the father in the most holy place jesus christ is our high priest performing all the duties of righteousness to us he pleads the merits of his blood and covers our life stained with sin our life is stained with sin but with the robe of jesus of his potter's righteousness and we stand before the father acceptable in the bravery 
Jesus calls us to take or to carry our cross and to follow him. And he covers us with his righteousness. The just shall live by faith. May God bless us as we think about these words in Jesus' name. Amen.